You may be wondering how I fix up my barn to make it look so nice. How did I get from this to this? Well, I'm about to show you the, my process. My barn has these bars in the windows, which I don't think are very nice to look at, especially when they're over here, over the door. So I took the bars out and filled in the holes with wood putty. So now, horses can stick their heads out. These nameplates that I make, they're made with a label maker and then I put them on part of a popsicle stick and I painted them gold and then I just kind of painted black over the letters so that they would stand out a little more. Now I'm putting Old English Lemon Oil on my wood. I'm going to paint parts of it but this part I think looks really nice all natural, so I'm oiling it. So now I'm working on painting parts of my barn. I'm, I decided to make these parts black. And I'm going to paint red details like the bars. I didn't like the original doorknobs on the stall doors, so I removed them. I don't actually recommend this unless you're really good at putting teeny tiny itty bitty little nails into things. This is the size of the hammer, and that's the size of the nail. And I have to do it all over again on this side! So, you know, maybe get a smaller hammer next time. Yeah. These are actually coat hangers for dollhouses. And here's what my stall door looks like. Got the handle installed. And it has a little halter hook here. I changed my mind again and decided to remove the little wooden things. And I'm going to put these in there instead. So here's my stall area at the moment, with the red, black, and gold on this wall, and the little door handle over there. I'm pretty happy with it. These little crafting handles might make really nice tie rings. So I got my tie rings installed, got another one over there. And I'm starting to put in little eye screws. There we go. In the sides here, in the door, so that I can make stall guards. So for my stall floor, I used some cardstock paper that I got in the scrapbooking section of a craft store, a little piece of craft foam for the mat in the doorway. I'm, I want to put some bedding in there, but I don't have any right now. I put hay in my little hay rack. The ceiling right now is just cardboard. I've got my tack room up here. In my tack room, I have little LED Christmas lights that light it right now, as well as an LED flashlight. Because it's really dark up here. 
I've got all my saddles. I made these little saddle racks out of pieces of wood, some craft foam, and popsicle sticks. And these little boxes, they're all color-coded equipment. I think I found them at a dollar store. And there's my other side of my tack room. And I put roses on there just to decorate it. It matches my barn colors, so it looks nice. There's, it's being attacked by a giant songbird. My feed room is just a cardboard box that I cut and put, I glued popsicle sticks to the front and painted them. And I put all my feed room stuff in there. So I got all my stall area here set up for a Twister right now. Twister has her own tack trunk. A lot of my horses are starting to kind of get their own. I find tack trunks to be really, really helpful to keep all the stuff organized because a lot of my horses have their own individual stuff. It makes it easier when I'm trying to tack them up to remember whose stuff goes with who. And the tack trunks are nice. You can get them at craft stores for about a dollar, I think, a piece. I've got this little Briar Vet kit. I think it's really cute. I use it. All right, so I have a vet kit in my barn because it's always a good thing to have handy in case of an emergency. And these are little lights that I found in a scrapbooking section of a craft store. And they're battery operated. And you just plug them in. There we go. They don't provide a lot of light, but they provide a little bit and it looks really nice. I usually have them out on the lesson barn, which isn't set up right now. And this, you may recognize as one of my pony barns. I just took the front part of it off and I use it as a shed right now to keep all my jumps and my arena stuff in it. I've got some arena stuff in here, little cones. These cones are really cool. They're traditional sized and I got them off of a website for like uh, remote control trucks and stuff. I got these little pots so I could put little plants in them and put them on either side of a jump. It looks like a mounting block to me. I think it came from some dollhouse set. I don't even remember. And there's other things in there. I just use whatever I can find. This, I can get it out, is a really cool little bridge. And an armadillo butt. This I actually got at a pet store. It's a little bridge for little rodents to run on and chew on, but it has wire in it so you can bend it or just leave it flat and use it as a trail bridge. It works really nice. I like it. You can also use it as a fence or as a wall or whatever. Very cool. My barrel racing barrels. They're just food cans that are empty and I cleaned them up and I painted them and they need to be repainted and over there are my jump poles that came with my jumps and I didn't make my jumps. I made some of my jumps but I didn't make the ones I'm using right now. So they're really cool though. They have Velcro on either end. So all I have to do to set them up is put them together with the Velcro. Makes it very easy, not realistic, but they're very sturdy and I like to use them. They look nice. And they're traditional sized instead of classic. <laughs>